Hey guys, welcome to Juicy Tea, where I read out the best stories on Reddit so you don't have to. The funny, shocking, and satisfyingly juicy. Today's video is Who's in the Wrong Wednesday, where you get to decide who's right and who's wrong. Posted by Valley's Hereth. Would I be the a-hole for continuing to wear a swimsuit in my friend's hot tub? I'm currently spending the week visiting a couple that I've been friends with for many years now. I get along really well with both of them, and it's been nice to catch up and spend some time in their part of the country. They have a really nice house, and recently they added a private hot tub area out the back and said I was welcome to use it. It's got a small sauna, the hot tub, and an outdoor shower, and it's all enclosed for privacy. They're fairly open about the fact that they use it naked. I know they've visited European spas where swimwear isn't allowed. They're not nudists, they just prefer to not wear anything in spas. They've got some little jokey signs up in the spa area about being nude and another about etiquette like showering before getting in the hot tub and sitting on a towel in the sauna. But one of the etiquette rules says that swimwear is not allowed and I ignored that. I get it, it's their thing, but it's not something I want to do, so I wore my swimwear. I left it to dry with the towels, which they noticed, and asked if I'd worn it. I told them that I had, and they said that it wasn't appropriate because they don't allow swimwear. For me, it just felt weird to get naked, because it's just a preference, and in a way, no one was around when I used it, so I didn't feel the need to follow that particular rule. I followed all the others. I said, I just don't want to be out there naked and have someone come along and see me. I said I'd do it if they promised to not also use it while I'm using it. I don't mind them being naked, but I'd rather have something on. They both said, it's not a big deal to be naked in a spa, and that if I use it while they're out, or while they're working, it's unlikely that either of them will come out and use it at the same time as me. But they won't promise to give me private use. They're saying that as it's their house, I should respect their rules and use it without my swimsuit. But they're basically saying that I can't object to them coming out and joining me while I'm naked. It wasn't a super heated argument, just a debate about the principle. They've told me I shouldn't use it if I'm not willing to do so naked, and accept that they may also want to use it at the same time. Would I be the a-hole if I ignored them and just kept wearing my swimsuit when I use it? This is a really weird rule to try and enforce. Do they like, have secret cameras or something? Or are they trying to use this as a way of initiating a threesome? Maybe you should use it again, wearing a swimsuit, but don't leave the swimsuit lying around, and see if they say something. Cause if they do, you know they're spying on you. Update. So this post got way more attention than I was expecting, and some of the comments are wild. I wanted to put an update to say how the rest of the week went. Firstly, they weren't trying to do anything sexual and there were no cameras. Damn. <laughs> Before anyone else asks, yes, I did check for the sake of being able to say that I have. There was nothing in my room, nothing in the bathroom or outside in the spa. A Redditor sent me an article about it and a link to an app for detecting them, so I'm sure as I can be that the place isn't bugged. I, 28 female, have known them, 26 female and 29 male, for 7 years. She's from the Netherlands originally, and he used to live there, but we currently live in Wales. I've stayed with them before, but the spa is new since my last visit. As some of you stated, I would be the a-hole if I kept using it and ignoring their rules, so I tried it without a swimsuit while they were out of work, and that went fine. Obviously, it felt a bit odd at first but nothing too scary, and I can see the appeal and the reasons for going without. I spoke to 26 female that evening, and we sat down so I could ask why do they have the nudity rule, beside it not being a big deal to them. She was very understanding, and I think we communicated a lot better than the first time. She explained that the main reason they chose to spend money on it was that they would have somewhere here that they can use, without wearing swimwear. They understand it isn't for everybody, but they bought it for them, not for anyone else. She said that people here have plenty of options if they want to visit a spa and swimwear, and basically, I don't have to use their stuff if I don't want to be naked. They mainly had two issues. She felt it was rude the way I'd asked to use it before, whenever I wanted, and that they would have to work around my schedule, which is apparently how I made it sound. I did apologise for how I came across. 
She also made a point that it wasn't appropriate that I suggested to stay clothed while her husband was naked in there. I said it caught me off guard as I wasn't expecting it to apply to guests and I just assumed that they wanted to be nude but wasn't expecting me to be also. Apparently, the spas they use in the Netherlands require that everyone be naked to use the saunas and the pools. Even the changing rooms are mixed gender and you just wear a dressing gown in the restaurant. Most will have a couple swimwear days where the opposite applies and swimwear is mandatory. So it's all or nothing, which makes it fair for everyone and that's why they objected to me coming in with them with a swimsuit on. She said it's better for you and the equipment to be naked. It's especially more hygienic and it's easier to maintain them. She explained how important it was to use the shower before and when moving between the hot tub and the sauna, as well as to dry off and sit on a towel when in the sauna. Just lots of info I didn't really have any ideas on before. They were happy to agree to times I could use it alone, but they'd assumed I'd understood that during the day, when they're out, was a time they'd suggested that I could use it and have some privacy. She said if I wanted to use it in the evenings, I could just check with them and agree on separate times so no one intrudes on the other, and that they'd never barge in on me without checking that I was either not in there at all or that I was covered up if they thought I was using it naked. Then I asked whether I could have worn one of my swimsuits if it was washed appropriately so as to not cause issues for them cleaning the hot tub. She said that'd be fine if I really didn't want to go in naked, but she didn't recommend wearing a swimsuit in the sauna, but she said I could go wrapped up in a towel if I wanted to be covered up. She said she didn't mind me joining her while she used it naked, but I should just ask 29 male if he minded, because she'd find it weird if one of his male friends wanted to come in when she was naked but insisted on being dressed. She suggested that they could put some swimwear in the wash so we can all use it together before I leave if I really wasn't comfortable with nudity, which was really kind of her. I owned up to using it again, wearing my swimsuit, and we laughed it off. She just doesn't get why I cared because they weren't even home. I then said I tried it again without and I wouldn't mind trying it again with her. She and I went in together, without swimsuits. She reassured me that I didn't need to be self-conscious or anything and to take my time. Then on the last night, I built up the courage to go in with both of them. It was completely platonic before anyone asks. Scary at first, but also exhilarating. I was definitely making a big effort to maintain eye contact, but 29 male was very respectful and I felt at ease with them in the end. I didn't forget I was naked or anything, but after a little while, I just felt okay with it, which I wasn't expecting to happen so fast. So no big drama in the end. While the thought of nudity in front of others still makes me uncomfortable, I'm very glad I gave this a go. Thanks to everyone who offered their advice and support for this first time nude spa goer. Posted by Puzzleheaded Rip 6227. Am I the a-hole for not letting my husband sleep in on the weekend? I 27 female and my husband 24 male have an agreement that every Saturday he sleeps in and I fully take care of the baby during the morning. And on Sundays, he takes the baby and I sleep in. So this Saturday, the baby woke up around 7am. I wake up at the same time, change her and go make the bottle. Shortly after, I'm feeding her and my husband walks in, saying he can't sleep anymore. I understand, I mean it's happened to me before and it's completely natural. At night, my husband turns to me and said that since he woke up early that day, he would be sleeping in the next morning, Sunday. I said no, that's not our agreement and it's not my fault he didn't sleep in. He said that's not fair because he works and I don't. To give a little more context, I'm a stay-at-home mum and he works full-time during the week. The thing is, I do most of the household chores, which I don't mind by the way, and his only responsibility is taking out the trash and unloading the dishwasher. I do everything else, plus take care of the baby. He usually just helps me with baths and watches slash plays with her while I make dinner. We're fine with how things are, we're a happy couple and family but I don't think it's okay for him to throw around that he works and I don't when it was a joint decision that I'd stay home with the baby until she turns one. He ended up waking up early and letting me sleep in today, but when I woke up, he let me know that he was really tired and that I wasn't nice to him and I should have let him sleep in instead. Am I the a-hole for not letting my husband sleep in? Extra info. 
We usually wake up at the same time during the week, since I pack his bag for work. So I don't sleep in any more than he does during the week. And when the baby naps, I do chores that I can't do while she's awake. You even pack his bag for work? This man wanted a mummy so bad, he made a kid. And yikes, he told you he'd be sleeping in? This wasn't a discussion. He didn't say, do you mind if I sleep in tomorrow? Oh, there's an update. My husband has apologised for the way he spoke, and that he could have phrased it better. All is good, and thank you all for the comments. <laughs> and a lot of you are shocked that I pack his lunch bag for work. I get it, I've been doing it since we got married, because I packed both our lunches at the same time. I do it out of habit, and honestly, as a nice gesture for him. He says he appreciates it, and I know he does. Posted by Music Comes to a 57.39 Am I wrong for temporarily lying to friends and family to trap an enabler? I, 36 female, have been non-contact with my narcissistic and emotionally abusive parents for a year now. I changed my number ages ago, but I know someone's given them my new number, as they recently attempted to make contact. I'm only in touch with four mutuals, my sister, my aunt, my childhood friend, and my cousin, who is not the child of the aunt in question. Before I changed my number again, I want to trap the rat by telling each of them a lie and see which one gets back to my parents just so I don't accidentally give my new number to the rat. Remember, all of these are lies. I told my sister I'm having an affair. I warned my husband ahead of time, so he's in on it. I told my aunt I think I might be a lesbian. My parents are very homophobic. I told my childhood friend that I think I'm pregnant. And I told my cousin I'm moving back to my hometown, near to where my parents live, for a job. It didn't take long. Three days later and I get a text from mum about how excited she is that I'm moving back and it's the perfect time to bury the hatchet. Cousin busted. I changed my phone number, cut off contact with my cousin and gave the other three my new number. I told them the situation, that all of these were lies and I had to catch the rat to see who was giving info to my parents. My aunt and childhood friend understood, but my sister, while she wasn't the rat and never told my parents, thinks I went too far and is upset with me for lying to her and is insulted that I thought she might betray my confidence. I told her I had to do this to protect myself from people who were leaking information. Ooh, this is like what Tyrion did in Game of Thrones. He told three people a different lie to see who was really a spy for Cersei. Not the a-hole OP. I'd be offended if I got left out of such fun. Posted by Pretend Business 4503 Am I the a-hole for asking my husband to go into the office more often? My husband and I are in our late 30s and we have four elementary age children. He's the breadwinner and makes almost 200k a year to support us, which I'm beyond thankful for. I'm lucky enough to be a stay-at-home mum. He's great at his job and manages to stay extremely flexible while being very successful. He's always up for promotions and hits his yearly goals by March. Every boss adores him. His office is less than 10 minutes drive, but he chooses to work from home most days. I'd say 90% at home. The problem is, we don't have an office space. We have an extremely small house, and he just has a big, outgoing personality, which is one of the reasons I married him, but I'm full-time at home. Laundry, cooking, cleaning, school PTO tasks, sick kids, half days, errands, etc., that's 100% all me, 100% of the time. All he has to worry about is work. It works for us, except I need him to leave the house. He works standing in the kitchen with his computer on the counter, or sitting on the couch in our living room, or mostly lying in our bed. He's just always near me, 24-7, always talking to me, always asking me what I'm doing, where I'm going, etc. in a friendly way, but still... I like to fold laundry on our bed, but he's always in there, and if I ask him to move, he says no, and tells me to fold somewhere else. He naps most days. He was home every single day last week. This morning, I mentioned that maybe he could go into the office a day or two, so I could have a little bit of breathing space, and he got all offended, and not in a sad, feelings hurt kind of way. More of a, fine, F you, I'll stay out of your hair when I'm home. Don't ask me for help with anything. I guess you don't like hanging out with me. So, am I the a-hole? Edit. He doesn't want an office space. 
He loves being in the mix, in the center of my universe. He loves knowing what's going on all the time and has no desire to separate himself to work. So creating a workspace for him is just not an option. He has a workspace at work that's a seven minute drive away. For clarification, no, we cannot and don't want to buy a bigger house or add an addition or build a garden office. It's simply not in the budget. And even if we had 3000 square foot of space, my husband would still want to be near the action. I have no complaints about my workload. We are both very happy with our division of responsibilities. Neither of us want me working until the kids are closer to high school age. So that's still a few years off at least. It's important to both of us that I'm present and available to our kids and at home during the season of life. Damn, this guy is like a massive overachiever, makes 200k a year, hits his yearly target by March and always getting promotions and gets to work from home. You'd think this guy would always have to have his head in work and basically be checked out of his family. But no, he's always around, always talking to his wife to the point of her getting sick of him. And when he's not doing that, he's taking a nap. Oh my god, life goals. Remember, I post new content every day, so subscribe for more juicy tea.